I told you about them when I told, showed you how to drive the pickup. Yeah. Warren Krauss is telling stories about his son Charles growing up on the farm. The Buffalo, Minnesota farmer started Krauss Holsteins in 1959 with $100 in his pocket. He says for the first 20 years it was rough, but he did have some help. By the time young Charles was old enough to see over the wheel of a tractor, he was glued to his dad, watching, learning, and working. And then the unthinkable happened. When Charles was just a sophomore in high school, Warren had a heart attack. No one could get through the snow to help keep the farm running. So Charles took over, milking and feeding 100 cows by himself for almost a month. And you know, you go through something like that and, and it's hard enough just to have your, your dad in the hospital, but then you have the whole responsibility of running a dairy operation. That's something that's either gonna chase you away or cement your, your desire. I'm proud of him that he's, he's willing to step out and, and, uh, and kind of follow in my footsteps. And the thing that I probably like the most is being able to work with my dad every day. Um, you know, when I was 16, I didn't know if I was going to have him. And here he is, you know, it's been 30 years and um, he's still here, so that's pretty cool. So now it's time to start planning for the next generation of the Krauss family. And Charles's children are ready to step up. I really enjoy working with my dad and my grandpa and having this family operation and I want to see this continue on so that's why I made this decision to want to come back here in my future. It was a generational thing that we went through, my father and my son and I, to plan out what we wanted to do and chart a map for the future. I'm currently an undergraduate at the University of Minnesota studying animal science and uh, dairy production. And hopefully that's something he can bring back as some of the new science that's, that they're teaching at the university. Some new science is exactly what Andrew was able to contribute when the Krauses built a new freestall barn. When we uh, decided to build this barn, once the blueprints came in, I looked through them and as the blueprints evolved and the things that we liked, I would put in more features and stuff. And at the end of this barn, I had a couple features of my own. Andrew suggested a truss system to increase airflow and LED lighting and thermostat controlled curtains to improve cow comfort and increase energy efficiency. But by far the most innovative feature of this barn is its manure handling system. The manure is automatically scraped into holding tanks and pumped to this manure separator which removes all the liquid and creates a dry bedding for the cows to lay on. Sustainability is always my mind, and I know that's on the mind of the consumer. They want to make sure that we're doing the best we can to protect the environment and the land that we live on and, and raise a family on. It warms my heart to see how both my children have really taken on leadership roles and how well-spoken they both are about speaking about agriculture and telling the story that we have. Definitely I want to stay in the dairy industry, whether it's being a promoter for dairy or coming straight back here and helping on the farm. Because I've grown up here and I feel like this is really just where I belong. I'm, I'm a fifth generation dairy farmer and I really take great pride in that because it's a really cool thing that not a lot of people get to say. That's one of the things I take pride in every day is being an American dairy farmer and providing a wholesome and nutritious product for the people of not only the United States but of the world. My dad is definitely my role model. I look up to him for almost everything, you know, and uh, I've learned so much from him and I, I credit a lot of who I am today because of my dad. He's a pretty tough guy and uh, he also knows when to have fun, you know, so I really appreciate having uh, two sides of him that I can enjoy, you know, and I enjoy working with him on, this op on the operation, you know, and um, I can see myself in the future working side by side with him to help grow this farm. Someone in my family has been milking cows for the last hundred years in the United States and uh, it's, it's something to take a great deal of pride in. So that's what I like about being a dairy farmer.